The last method for sharing the visualizations that you create in RAW that I want to talk about is embedding. Now, here I've created a stream graph using the music data. And, you know, it's kind of my neat little wavy chart here. And I'm going to come down to this box right here, the embed code. And what we have here is a whole lot of code that we can use to recreate this graph in web pages. Now, there are two ways that you can use this. One is to create a web page using just this code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click this little button to copy all of that code. Then I'm going to go to a text editor. Here I am in text edit on my Mac, and I'm just going to paste that code into it. And you can see it's really super long and cryptic, and it's hard to tell what's going on here. But we can do this. We can save this file. And let's call it stream graph. And I'm going to manually change the extension from txt to html, which is what we'd use for a web page. I'll save it to download, hit save. I'm going to tell it, yes, I want to use HTML. I'm going to close that one right there. And then if I go to my downloads, here I've got my page. And if I do a little quick view, you can see it right there. And I can just open it up in Chrome. And voila, what we have is the image, even though it's built up of that giant, huge collection of coordinates and commands right there, we get the same image that we had before. And I can zoom in on it again, because it is a vector graphic. It's a great way to do things. Now that's what you would do if you are able to create entire web pages and put them, you know, in a folder and have them be part of what you're doing. On the other hand, if you're using a web service like Squarespace or WordPress, you're going to do a slightly different approach. Let me go back and just copy this again, make sure I've got it. Then I'm going to go to a page I created in Squarespace, just for embedding a visualization, got my guy working on the computer there. And I'm going to come down here and say I'm going to edit this page. And then I'm going to say that I want to embed some code. And again, that little square with the three is from my password manager. So ignore that. I'm going to click on the code thing here at the end and paste in my code. I'll hit set and apply. And now I'll save this. And we can even open it back up to preview. And there I have it. There is the same visualization but not an image, it's produced through code, through HTML based code that I was able to embed in my page. And now it's part of my web page. And that's a really convenient way to do it. It's a nice way to do it because it is still a vector graphic. Normally, I would embed a image file like a PNG. But if I want it to be infinitely scalable, then this method of embedding the code is an ideal way to do that.